We have a four liter Jeep. We're gonna go through the steps in replacing the water pump. Before performing a cooling system repair, it's recommended to flush the cooling system prior to installing any new parts. With the cooling system flushed and drained, we'll disconnect the negative battery cable before beginning the repair. Remove the upper radiator hose. Before starting your repair, you always want to be sure you're working with a cool engine. And unbolt the fan shroud from the radiator. Using the appropriate tools, remove the fan from the water pump. Remove the retaining clip from the transmission cooler line and remove the fan shroud. Loosen the water pump pulley bolts. Remove and inspect the drive belt, making sure it's not damaged in any way that would hinder its reuse. Completely remove the pulley from the water pump. Remove the idler pulley and disconnect the heater hose. Remove the lower radiator hose from the water pump. Remove the water pump mounting bolts. Note the location of the longer bolt for reassembly. and remove the pump from the vehicle. Keep in mind there may be some residual coolant. Be sure and capture and dispose of properly. Thoroughly clean the water pump gasket surface, making sure to not allow any debris into the water jacket area. You'll be required to remove the heater tube from the old water pump and install onto the new pump. Apply a light coat of gasket sealer to the water pump surface. Install the water pump gasket then apply a light coat of sealant to the gasket surface. Install the water pump and torque the bolts to 200 inch pounds. Reattach the heater hose and lower radiator hose. It's always a good idea to clean the inside of the pulley. This will keep from having any imbalance issues. Install the idler pulley, the water pump pulley, and the drive belt. Fully tighten the water pump pulley bolts. Partially lower the shroud into place and reattach the transmission line. Inspect the fan clutch, making sure there's no oil leakage or loose bearing. Gently place the fan into the shroud and lower into position. Thread the fan onto the water pump and reattach the fan shroud bolts. Tighten the fan with the appropriate tools and install the upper radiator hose. With the repair complete, reattach the negative battery cable. Fill the system with a 50-50 blend of coolant and distilled water. It's a good idea to test your pressure cap. A faulty pressure cap can lead to an inefficient cooling system. If you do not have access to a pressure tester, these are available at your local parts store. Start the vehicle and turn the cabin heater on high. This will help bleed the air out of the system. Allow the engine to reach operating temperature and check for leaks. Shut the engine off and allow it to cool completely. Top the recovery tank off to manufacturer specs. 